I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of new york through the story he is writing uh, like astral projection did i get that right yeah that's exactly right go on i should be taking notes here this is great stuff notes to that other alan wake in that room writing this as we speak are we all in your story alan No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of... My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice.
What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? surfaced, about riding here for countless days.
Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And, of course, we have Alan Wake here. The best-selling writer of the books, the films, are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh... <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder Case Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Hello? Ah, Lord Abe, 
There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? Not <laughs> otta helvetis. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with the tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Talk show host? Good evening. A writer trapped in a dream world attempts to write a story to shape reality around him and escape. He is beset by visions leaking in from realities beyond his own. He uses those visions as inspiration for his stories in hopes of giving them power to make them come true. Us, hidden few, know that ultimately he will succeed. But for that, 
Many of these stories collapse back into the stuff that dreams are made of, to remain as they began, works of fiction. And yet, maybe there is a gleam of truth to be unearthed from these tales. We are a glimpse into the unseen realities beyond our own, offering us intriguing avenues of contemplation as they transpire in the night spring. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass, but that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not like...
phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. light at the end of the alley ahead. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Hey, we met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim?
not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows blocked my way. Flashlight, I could find that. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside.
written books about Alex Casey for years. Someone knew the brain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises. city hmm. but some sins the evidence the crimes committed could never be erased not by the rain or any amount of therapy from dr jack daniels it remained bruises under my skin like tattoos bruises in my soul scar tissue on my heart the rain never stopped falling and I never stopped drinking. Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. 
No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. There was something hidden here, like what her phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this?
a fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one. door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago <sighs> but that's okay and your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet you don't really mind how it arrives <sighs> but my day didn't start off with all that excitement it began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress. Walk on in. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> Well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thing. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! Shucks! The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, 
We have our own ways of talking. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing! Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Is Knott Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course! We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row! My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? <sighs> yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Oh, you still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. I'll grab you a coffee from the back. You better not crease any pages. It's me, your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan, you're the only one who can save me! Oh my gosh! Don't worry, I'm on my way! My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way. The boatyard is this way! You better hurry! Go through the boatyard! It's the shortest route! This was my moment. My chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, <laughs> 